Peace and love, it's Maya here with Miyogi, back with the collaboration for National Black Workers Center's Black Labor Day. Now, if you're black in corporate America, after a long day of work, all you can think about is rest, right? But sometimes after work, we have a whirlwind of things to do for our kids, elders, and for ourselves, but we have to take time to prioritize what we got going on before we can show up for others. So incorporating more yoga into your daily routine to help you show up for others that need your support. This flow is gonna be the perfect wind down after you get home from work, you kick off your shoes, you don't really wanna do much, but you need to do a little something before you prepare for your evening activities. Let's get into it. Of course, the breath is the foundation. So we're gonna root us in an ocean breath once again. The inhale is through the nose, the exhale is through the nose. Constrict the throat, make it audible. Close your eyes if you will. Drop into your practice, setting that intention to rejuvenate. And I invite you for a moment to just think about all of our forefathers and foremothers and our ancestors who have done some really heavy work for us to be able to live a little bit more free. give thanks we give thanks for our ancestors so you just got off from work you tired you need a little bit of mm, to get you into your restful state sleeping real good the poses that we're going to go through are going to focus more on the lower limbs of the body the first one is pigeon pose and you can do this on the couch. Here's how we're gonna get into it. One leg is going to come bent. The other leg will be straight. And you'll give yourself enough room so that the leg can relax completely on the couch. like so now let's say you're up here but you need a little support you can take a pillow and bring it right underneath you and kind of harness yourself onto the pillow this is stretching this hip flexor, which if you've been sitting for long periods, this hip flexor has done a lot of work. So give it that stretch, that aid that it deserves. If you wanna take this pose a little deeper, you can begin to climb your way into a sleepy pigeon. Your preference, sleepy pigeon or staying upright. Ocean breath to aid us in our practice, inhaling through the nose, out of the nose, through the nose, out of the nose. In through the nose. Out of the nose. Awesome. 
Now remember what we do to one side, we always do to the other. This time, we're gonna have the opposite leg forward and let this pillow still be a harness. Once you found that sweet spot, start with the spine straight, breathe into that hip flexor. Breathe into that discomfort. We have the ability to transform what we know to be pain into pleasure. Mm -hmm. So, pigeon pose with a prop. The next pose that we're gonna explore is a low lunge with the help of our couch. So we'll have one leg off the couch. We wanna have that knee about 90 degrees. The other leg is just gonna hang back. So you're gonna take some time to nuzzle your way down. Use the pillow as a way to support you. And maybe it's not just one pillow, maybe it's two. Make the pose accessible for you. Bring in the blankets, bring in the books, whatever you need to make it feel good. Mm -hmm. And once you've settled into it, find your ujjayi, your ocean breath. Mm. As an option, if you want to take this a little deeper, you can reach your hand back for that foot and just give a slight tug, hitting that flexor again. Mm-hmm. Now, again, what we do to one side, we're going to do to the other. I'm really thinking about alignment here, stacking the knee over the ankle, letting that back leg be as straight as possible, melting into the pose. Ah. Yes. Letting out those deep sighs out the mouth can be really yummy. <sighs> With every exhale, I just wanna think about melting a little deeper. Now you may get in this pose and just end up going to sleep. And if you do, that's your business. So once we've evened out on both sides, doing our pigeon pose and we got into our low lunge, we're gonna do one more pose that will help with the spine. And this will also help you with digestion. This one's puppy pose. So this one is one that for some, it seems to be resistance for whatever reason. 
but when you're doing this in the comfort of your home i can only hope that you will be as open as you can all right so here's how it looks Let's start off in all four. And then you can use this or not. I'm gonna start without. Coming onto the elbows, lifting your bum in the air and thinking about stacking the hips over the knees and then dropping the belly down. You can cross your arms across your hands to make a pillow or you can reach the arms forward if you want it a little deeper bring your chin to the surface or if you want to use the pillow you can bring the ground or the surface closer to you so that it's not as deep but you just have some support and like I said, this one's good for helping the body to detox, helping to aid in that uh, natural metabolic cleanse. And the body just wants to release at times. So getting in poses that help it to do that. Hmm. I ah, finished a few of those breaths, coming out of it and resetting. Now I showed you these poses with a few breaths. In order to really maximize the benefits of them, you want to be practicing them for long periods. The longer the better. Pay attention to your body and be more you know, mindful of what your capacity is. I challenge you to do at least 15 minutes a day, whether in the morning, during a break, in the middle of the day, or at night, just to aid you in your self-preservation journey. All right, thanks again for tuning in. This is Maya with Miyogi with a National Black Workers Center collaboration for Black Labor Day. It's lit y'all. Peace and love, rest well.